antibiotic stewardship means applying the principle of antibiotic therapy like giving it appropriately, adequately and also not to give or when to stop antibiotics. You know it is very important for appropriate use of antibiotics that we should have a antibiotic stewardship program in the hospitals. But there are various problems. So Dr. Todi, I want to ask you what are the hurdles we face in our country to implement the antibiotic stewardship program? Antibiotic stewardship has become an integral part of every hospital in the western world because of the increasing rise of antibiotic resistance and the mortality associated with it. In fact, paradoxically in the developing country, antibiotic stewardship is mostly needed and it is neglected in many of our places. The hurdles that we face first is we lack human resources. We do not have infectious disease personnel. We do not have trained clinical microbiologists. We have lab based microbiologists, but we require clinical microbiologists. We can come at the bedside and interact with the clinicians. We require clinical pharmacists because clinicians are busy doing so many other work. So they cannot concentrate just on antibiotics and the stewardship team will take care of that. So these are the three main ingredients, the clinical pharmacist, clinical microbiologist and an infectious disease physician are lacking in our country. You know, uh, I mean it is good to implement the antibiotic stewardship, but has it shown that it can reduce the incidence or prevalence of resistance? One thing antibiotic stewardship program has shown in all the studies that it has decreased the use of antibiotics. It has also decreased the resistance in a short term. We are still not very sure what is the effect of antibiotic stewardship in the long term resistance uh, scenario, especially if we are dealing with a multidrug resistant bacteria. So I think we need more studies in this and the positive impact of this on mortality is also very much needed. You know, it looks very fancy that we should uh, implement the antibiotic stewardship program all across the country and in ICU there is a very high incidence of such a high incidence of resistance. How far it is really practical to implement such a program? That is one of the biggest issue because in the western world where this antibiotic stewardship concept have started, they do not deal with very highly drug resistant bacteria. So they can start low and they can, uh, they can restrict their broad spectrum antibiotic use. But given...